Today, I am going to try and make a beat in the style of Don Tolliver's new album called Love Sick, which at the time of recording dropped just over a week ago. So far, it's my favorite album of the year, obviously, because three albums have released so far this year, so not that much competition. But overall, big fan of Don Tolliver. I remember Heaven or Hell when it came out. It was a big thing for me because it influenced my production quite a bit. The whole album has like a really dark trap soul atmospheric vibe, which I'm going to try and recreate. And I think my favorite track was probably Leave the Club or Leather Coat. They're just very atmospheric again very melodic generally speaking the whole album just sounds like it was laced with the purest product in all of albuquerque new mexico but for this video i'm probably going to try and create a track similar to the titular track which is lovesick because it's the simplest one in my opinion and it represents the project really well so on the album there's a lot of atmospheric synth sounds so i've just opened up three copies of analog lab 5 because like if you look up any video on this album everyone is using analog lab 5 looking through loner's sample supply i'm gonna use the piano for this that one's okay. That one's pretty cool. We might want to start with the pad first. It might make it a bit simpler. Coastline, maybe. All right, that's pretty good. Okay, I'm going to mess around on the piano for like 30 minutes and then hope I come up with something. If I don't come up with something, you're not going to see this video, but... Three hours later. Okay, that sounds pretty good. I would record it in, but I'm incompetent when it comes to any key instrument, so I'm just not gonna even bother. I'm gonna keep it really simple. I'll probably just do two chords. Alright, let's see how this sounds. That sounds so evil. Alright, yeah, I like that. Let's see what else we can find. Alright, we're gonna layer it with this brass preset here. Sounds pretty similar to one of the songs on Love Sick, so I think I'm doing okay so far. Maybe it needs an arpeggiated instrument or something. I'll probably have to half time it though, because it would just sound too out of place otherwise. I like that, but what we're gonna do is half time it, so I'm just going to copy everything over. So already we have a lot of layers. Now it needs a baseline. I'm just gonna open another instance of Analog Lab 5. <laughs> I use Analog Lab 5 like it was Omnisphere back in the day. Like, what the fuck? might change the chords actually. Yeah, I like that. Can I edit this preset at all or no? What the f What is this? <laughs> what am I looking at? Yeah, we might want to mix the melody a little bit before we move on, otherwise it's going to start getting too complicated.
Nice. Sound noise. And then I'm just going to copy the effects on this sound to this sound. It sounds pretty good so far though. Why have I never used this pack before? I'm just going to use it in every beat now. Now we're going to want to mix these as well. I think all of these need Sooth too. These have a lot of resonating frequencies that I'm not a fan of. Add some delay to this one as well. That sounds exactly like what I was hoping it would. Okay, now we're gonna program the drums. I don't know exactly what I wanna do for the drums. I may even end up speeding up the sample a little bit. There's a specific percussion sound that I want to use. There it is.
that's good, that's good, that's good. All right, I think the only thing that I don't really like is the secondary hi-hat, so we're gonna need to find another sample to replace it with. We immediately need to bounce out this hi-hat sample because it's going to absolutely destroy my PC otherwise. Beat's basically done. We just need to arrange it fully now and we can have a listen. That's like my favorite beat that I've made in like the past two months, to be honest. I can't believe it. I'm not gonna lie, normally when I film these, I make beats at 20 times worse, my normal ones. And I don't know why. It's probably just because I have a camera in front of me. This time, I think this is a really good one. I'm, I'm happy with how that turned out. Very happy with the beat, very happy with how it turned out. I think if I had to change one thing, I could probably mess with the accents that I added to the melody. I don't know how authentic it is compared to the actual album. I don't know how well it would suit the album because it's a bit slow. So let's just take a listen and see what I could have improved for next time. Mm -hmm. 